Hey guys, welcome to this new video. Today we're gonna attempt to unfold my wrist situation since it's been very complicated and sometimes the timeline of my videos doesn't match what is going on at the current time. If you've been a fan of mine, especially on YouTube, but also Instagram and TikTok, where you should definitely follow me by the way, you've seen me playing a lot of matches slicing most of my backhands, if not all of them. I've been saying that was due to my left wrist being injured and in pain. Well, let's unfold that from the start. Let's start by saying the videos of my match play you've been seeing on my channel are from this year, but between January and May. And it is now November by the time of this video. So yes, they're being published quite a bit late as they are from the last college season which is in the spring. And yes, during the time my wrist was chronically inflamed and I could barely hit backhands, but we'll get to that. Let's go from the start. My first injury to my left wrist started in 2021 during my second college season. From the MRI and test, it just seemed like the area around my ECU tendon, which goes all the way up into the bone, from the pinky side was inflamed. So I did a cortisone injection. That was that, and after a few weeks of slowly getting back into it, I was good to play again. So nothing too serious there, but the first foot into this wrist injury world, let's say. Fast forward to 2022, it is now around March, and while playing a set in practice, I could feel my wrist hurting more and more. A week or a little more goes by, and then in the gym, I feel a very sharp pain while having a weight in my hand. And since then, it's been downhill. I rested, got a cortisone, own injection, did exercise and tried everything. But since then, I literally could not hit a single back and no matter what. I would feel like a super strong shock in my hand at impact and I would completely lose grip. I carried on playing with the slice only for the rest of the season and I did MRIs, electromyography, x-rays and other exams but not a single one could point out what the real issue was. There wasn't a clear answer. In July, I finally decided with my doctor in Italy to perform arthroscopic surgery where basically they go in with a camera, figure out what the problem is and perform surgery to fix it. It turns out I had a broken ligament in a TFCC which is basically the fibrocartilage complex that holds together the entire wrist. After my wrist surgery, I had six weeks of cast and then started with rehab. Long story short, it's December and I'm finally starting to hit backhands very slowly and with softer balls. It takes around two to three months like, until I can hit proper backhands. So I pretty much played the 2023 college season healed, although my wrist is a bit stiffer than before and occasionally hurts. The rest of 2023, I play pro tournaments with no problems until we get to this year. 2024 starts on and off with some occasional wrist pain, not in my area of surgery, but in my ECU tendon again. And I think it was after this match against this guy who was hitting the foreign and serves so incredibly hard that I started having more severe pain. To alleviate it, I started taking anti-inflammatories, did some ultrasound therapy every now and then, and used ice as necessary. It did help for a few weeks to a month, but eventually we playing matches every week, it got to the point where the pain was chronic and seemed unfixable. I played a handful of matches with the slice only, and other where I played it only if necessary, and I'd say I did incredibly well even with that handicap. You can see more of it if you watch all my college videos, you'll see that some of them I just played a slice and some of them I just kind of hit back and here and there. But anyway, the MRIs revealed that nothing was broken luckily, but my ECU tendon was literally on fire, chronically inflamed with liquid and a bunch of other symptoms. The start of summer, I tried my luck in ITF tournaments with this problem, trying to fend some ATP points I made last year, but that did not work well for me. Eventually, I had to stop, and among solutions, my doctor prescribed shockwave therapy, which is one of the most painful things I've ever done. It looks and sounds like this. It's basically as if someone was pounding a hammer with power in the point where you have the most pain repeatedly over and over. I did three sessions of this and had to wait another three weeks after the sessions were finished. Basically all July and August I was out, but hard to believe the therapy worked. I very slowly got back into hitting backhands and then started competing in tournaments. Yes, at the beginning I was getting sore quite a bit, but now that it wasn't inflamed I could do all the exercises to strengthen it. And with time and more matches, I am currently almost pain free. So hopefully I can play some more tournaments until the end of the year and put this problem behind me. So the most important part is the key takeaways that I've learned from all this experience in managing this injury. And I think my tips are valuable for any kind of tennis related injury, not only the wrist. The first takeaway is to learn to listen to your body and manage your wrist. Learn when to stop and when to keep going in matches or practice. This is the key to well-being and managing stress on your body because you don't want to go too much when you know the pain might get worse, but you also don't want to stop too early if it's not necessary. Secondly, exercises are very helpful, but only do them when your wrist is not already inflamed or hurting. Other Otherwise, it makes things worse. If you're inflamed, wait until you hear and once you're pain free, start doing exercises. Because if you do them while you have a chronic inflammation, it only stresses the wrist more and worsens the entire situation. And the final key is good technique. This is an advice to especially all younger players who are still mastering their technique and figuring out how to play their shots. But learn clean and smooth technique. Even if it might be difficult at first to change the way you used to hit the ball, your body will thank you later for this. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this clears some air and helps you understand better how it's been for me and why I've been slicing so much. Make sure you stay tuned as next week I will be dropping my last ever college match and you don't want to miss out on that.